in business is about the decisions you make and it's about the actions you take on a daily basis as you play the game. So find your niche. And for each and every one of you, that's gonna be different, but it should be attached to something you're passionate about. In business, you're really out there to ask and listen. You're trying to look for some ideal clients. You're trying to look for some ideal partners. And you're trying to look for, for what are other people that are successful in this business doing? And the most powerful four words in the English language are, I need your help. So seek out some mentors. They don't have to be people you know. They can be people you listen to on podcasts. They can be people that you listen to audios, watch videos of that are out there, that are in the business world, that are succeeding. And make sure you just start to become more and more of an expert, not only in your industry, but an expert right up here mentally. Hey everybody, what's up? What's up? This is Billy Cox. I want to welcome you back to the Break Free Podcast, where we talk about everything from business, sales, leadership, life, and most importantly, the thing that everybody wants to talk about, money. In today's episode, we're going to be talking mostly to the young entrepreneur who may feel stuck in the rat race and just wants to break out to a different level and start making a profit. So that's what today's episode is all about. It's about you and how you can start making a profit in your small business. Um, In future episodes, we're going to be bringing on some key industry leaders, some heavy hitters that are out there that are going to really help you in all different areas, grow and expand as large as you want to. But today, we're going to stick to some of the basics of business success. You know, when I was 17 years old, I started out in sales and relatively soon after um, started my own business. And over the years, I've built many successful businesses that we have today. And I've committed a big part of the rest of my life to helping others achieve their dreams and helping others make and run profitable, successful, expanding, growing business operations. But it does start with some basic things. And I think the biggest thing and the most important thing is for anyone is to have clarity. Remember this, remember more than anything, Clarity is power. It's also the antidote to anxiety. So even if you're feeling anxious about anything, get clear. Clarity is power, and the more clear you are about what it is you want, the more likely you are to get it. So as you're thinking about your future, you've got to get clear. How much money do I want to make? How much time am I willing to spend in order to get those things? And you need to... Truly, you need to take some time to write down some of the goals that you have and some of the dreams that you have, short-term and both long-term. And if you will start to get clear, you will start to move in that direction. But you got to have clarity on the direction. You need to know what your numbers are. You need to know how much money is it that I want to make, and then start to get clear a little bit on how is it that I'm going to get there. And that's going to lead us more into number two. And that means you need to identify something that you're passionate about, but you can also make a profit in. Because the first goal in business is simply this, make a profit. Write it down. You have to make a profit. And that's an entrepreneur, a young entrepreneur needs to truly understand that is your first goal. And if your profit takes care of a lot of things. And so we got to figure out How are we going to make that profit? And you do it by identifying and get clear about something you're passionate about. But also, again, it's got to be something that you can make money in or then it's just a hobby. Now, it could be a hobby. (laughs) Don't get me wrong. And again, um, while I'm talking to you about this area, I would probably like to share that uh, a lot of people may do what I did. Maybe you're already in that business. Like I was a salesperson in a business for a couple of years because I was young. I was 17 years old. So I learned the business. I learned a little bit about it. And then I decided I wanted to own my own business in that industry. So find your niche. And for each and every one of you, that's going to be different. But it should be attached to something you're passionate about or else you're going to get bored with it and you're not going to be willing to do and dedicate yourself to do whatever it takes to get it. And in business, I don't care if it's your full-time gig 
or your part-time, so to speak, gig. It should be something that's fun, something that you enjoy, and something that you can make money at. And I hear a lot of people talk all the time about, I'm going to get my side hustle and I'm going to do all this different stuff. But let me tell you, business is not about a side hustle. You might want to call it that, but I really believe this. I believe that you're all in. Even if you're working a full-time job, even if you got to work a second job in order to do it, you need to. it needs to be something, I'm all in with it. And if you're all in with it, then it's going to start happening. As long as you're plugged into something, into a business, that has the potential there to make a profit. So you can do some research out there in the industry. You can make sure, potentially, even find some things that other people are doing well in and figure out something pretty simple. If you do the same thing other successful people do with the same attitude and the same actions, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get very predictable results. So get out there at first and start thinking about, again, Identify getting into that that niche market that you're passionate about and start making a profit <laughs> on it. And um, so then we'll mark, move into step number three, and that is to create a budget. And that's not the fun part. Nobody wants to talk about that because everybody in business, they want to talk about spending money and they want to talk about all the different money that they're going to make. But you have to know within your clear business, you know, a business plan, and I don't mean you have to have some crazy business plan out there, but you've got to get clear a little bit about what is your budget. How much money are you going to invest in it, and where is that profit mark uh, mark at? So if you're out there and you're, um, you know, if your goal is ten thousand dollars a month, if you want to make ten thousand a month, maybe it's five thousand a month, maybe it's twenty five thousand dollars a month, but whatever it is you want to make, you set the goal for what it is you want to make. And then you figure out, you reverse plan. Pretty simple. You reverse plan on what I have to do in order to make that profit. So basically what you have to do is you have to take your expenses that you have, you have to take your cost of goods that you have, and you have to take your cost of marketing that you have. Pretty simple. And then what you're selling it for and everything in between there is a profit. But then you got to think about the other part, that is your cost of living. And we will talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes, but, um, but you definitely have to get some type of a budget and in with that budget, a, a mini sort of business plan that's going out there. The next thing you have to do is you have to create a presence for your business. You have to create an online presence. How do you create that online presence? Everywhere that you can post something, you post it. Sure, the basics, I think everybody knows that. You get a website. You need a website that looks good so that you can refer people to where you have some credibility. So your online presence is this. People will buy from people they like and people they trust and the only way they're going to trust you is that they see you out there. And that means you're building a presence where you're attempting to get some positive reviews, different things like that as you go. So you get maybe even friends and family and other people you've done business with to post some reviews. But you also get on every social media platform out there that you can get on, especially on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn. And you, so you get your name out there in multiple places. You also start to network, man. I mean, you just really get out there and hustle. That's what's called and hustle. You go to every meeting, every function, every event, everything that you can attend, everywhere you can go, and you're out there. And one of the biggest mistakes people do is though they get out to meetings and they start to run up to everyone and they want to tell everybody, oh, man, here's how great I am. <laughs> you know, I've seen a video out there, how great I am. But the reality is, is that in business, you're really out there to ask and listen, especially at first. Keep your eye open. Because remember early when we said clarity is power? You're trying to look for some ideal clients. You're trying to look for some ideal maybe partners. And you're trying to look for, at first, you're really trying to look for what are other people that are successful in this business doing. So you really want to listen more than you talk. You want to develop some relationships that are out there that can be key strategic relationships to help you Long term, that may also be family. That may would also be friends. And the most powerful four words in the English language are 
I need your help. So as you're talking to people, but let me explain one more thing. There's something called the law of reciprocity. So as you're networking out there, you should always be providing value. You should always be giving more than you're receiving, and giving actually always starts the receiving process. So as you're posting these things out there and you're building your online presence, position yourself as an expert. Show what you can do out there. So be positioned out there as that expert in the industry as you're building your online presence, as you're out there and you're networking with other people and you're talking to other people. Now, some of these are tying together because the reality is this is a all of these things are foundational stones. They're intertwined, they're intermixed. These are things you got to do all of them. You can't go I'm going to do five things or six things and because the next thing we're going to talk about networking and seeking a mentor. We've talked about a um, and mentor <laughs> in Texas it's mentor. <laughs> but we're going to talk about um, networking and uh, seeking a mentor. And what that that's, that comes in a lot of different forms because, number one, Jim Rohn, if you ever heard of Jim Rohn, maybe you haven't, but he said we all need five different mentors. For me, I had family members that were mentor, parents that were mentors, but what I'm referring to today more is like a business mentor, people out there in the business world that are succeeding. And Start hanging around them. You probably know someone. It could be someone close, but make sure you're careful who you take advice from. We're also, when we're talking about network, is the people we hang around because we become like the five people that we hang around the most. So you really want to be very careful who you're listening to. The group, of cir- the circle that you're involved with right now of friends and sometimes even family members. A lot of them are probably going to discourage you potentially long-term for the goals, what we said earlier, clarity, for the clear goals that you have that you want to achieve. They're going to tell you it's not possible, man. You're chasing that dream. You're running after your passion. Get a job. Because most people do have a job mentality, and they have a security mentality. And as a business owner, you have to be willing to Number one, you have to be willing to up your circle, change your circle, change the people that you're hanging around, change the people that you're associating with. You become, create more of a mastermind effect when you're networking. And that means that we have a group of people that are really wanting to elevate us, that are wanting to help us succeed. So make sure who you're listening to. So seek out some mentors. They don't have to be people you know. They can be people you listen to on podcasts. They can be people that you listen to audios, watch videos of that are out there, that are in the business world, that are succeeding. And make sure you just start to become more and more of an expert, not only in your industry, but an expert right up here mentally. you got to win that mental game before you win other games. And if you're hanging out with the wrong people, you're going to wind up in the wrong places and doing the wrong things. But if you're hanging out with the right people, you're going to wind up in the right places. And guess what? you're going to wind up doing the right things. And that's going to mean a lot to you and your long-term business success. So, hey everybody, this is Billy. I just wanted to hop in here and say if you get any value out of this episode, be sure to hit the like button. We're out there on all the different platforms. Seek out the mentors. Seek out, seek out the inspirational people, the people that can help you. And But get my final little tip on mentorship is it goes back to what I said earlier, but it goes back to listening you got to spend most of your time listening. I always tell people this. If you ask the right people the right questions, you will get what? You will get the right answers. But you got to ask, and you got to ask, and you got to ask, and you got to ask. But most importantly, you've got to listen. And then when you get the right advice, you got to take action. you got to get out there and do it. Implement what you learn immediately. Don't wait a day. Don't wait a week. Don't make a month. Be like Nike. (laughs) Just get out there and do it. Take action on what you learn. Because a lot of times we learn things, but it never becomes us. We never internalize it until we take action. We start implementing it, implementing it, and we start teaching it. That's true in business. 
It's true in sales. It's true in relationships. It's true in life. If you learn a new close, you go to a meeting, a function, or event as a salesperson, and you knew a, learn a new marketing technique or a new closing technique, until you go try it, you're not going to get good at it. And you're going to have failures. You're going to have no's. As a matter of fact, every no is one step closer to a yes. But you have to implement and you learn from every time you get a no, you readjust your heading and you become better every single day. Now, all this sounds good, but it still goes back to number six. And that means you have to make a profit. The number one goal of every business has to be to make a profit. Now, I know I said it earlier, but I'm going to reiterate it again, and I will tell you a thousand times. I'll tell you day in, day out, over and over again. Number one goal of a business is to make a profit, and you want to reinvest some of that profit back into your business, back into inventory, a little bit into research, but you've got to make a profit. We talked to you about budgeting and all this stuff, and this also means that you live for a while like others won't, so you can eventually have the things that others don't. You work for a long time like others won't, so eventually you're going to have all of those things that others don't. You do the small things daily, each and every day, that are going to stack up to staggering differences in results over time. But you've got to be willing to do the small things. You've got to be willing to do it on a daily basis. You, when, when, it's time, when, when it comes around and you're thinking about, I need to go buy this, you need to really think about it. Do I really need to buy this or do I want to invest that money back into myself? Do I want to invest that money back into inventory? Do I want to invest that money back into my business? And that comes down to a choices because success in business is about the decisions you make and it's about the actions you take on a daily basis as you play the game. And you have to be intentional about it. You have to be disciplined about it. And you have to be willing to say no. And you have to be, you have to do it daily. It's a daily basis. So I tell everybody, do something every day that moves you closer to your dreams. If it means living below your means, if it means not buying the new sofa, the new couch, the new car, because here's what here's the society we live in today. It's a microwave society. I want to push the button and three minutes later, two minutes later, the popcorn's out and I'm eating it. That's not the way success is. I want to get on the elevator and push the button and I want to be on the 10th floor in two minutes. It doesn't work that way. You take steps, you have to walk up the stairs, and you learn and you develop your strengths. Through your struggles is where you will develop your strengths. So, but you do have to do the next thing and the final thing, and that is you got to stay focused because it's easy to have a whole lot of ideas. We got the pie in the sky, the idea on the beach, we got the passion, we got all the things we're excited about, we're energized, we're ready to rock and roll, we think we're going to do it, but we get stuck there and we never really get past that starting line. And many times it's not just the starting line, it's the restarting line. No matter what level of success you're at, whether you're just starting out as a young entrepreneur, whether you built a successful business and you're just feeling stuck out there and you just haven't been able to break through or break out or even break free up to, up to that next level, I know that deep inside, you probably want to, but maybe there's something that's that's holding you back or something that's keeping you from it. And usually it's focus. It's the lack of focus. And focus is whatever we focus on the longest becomes the strongest. We can all get we can get all caught up daily on the hangups. We can get caught up daily on the drain things, the things that are taking us further away from our goals and dreams. Guys, business is simp is 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 this it's whatever it takes but you have to stay focused on the main things so i would say today to figure out what are my main things 
that I need to be spending most of my time doing every day. Because most people are running here and there and pretending to be running a business. And they're busy, but they're not really running their business. So either you're running around and you're operating your business, you're working in your business or on your business. Make sure if you're focused, you know what your main things are. And if you know what your main things are, then what you're doing is you're spending your time now. You're working on your business. And that's where we want you to spend most of your time. That means you got to get a basic, simple plan of action. Get you a daily, simple, 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 daily list of to-do list, and then be willing to do something every day your competition don't or won't. Period. Be willing to do something every day your competition don't or won't. And that means you have to get up a little earlier than your competition does. That means you may have to go to bed a little later than your competition does. It may mean you make a few more sales calls than your competition does. It may mean you spend more time developing your, uh, uh, your sales pitch, your elevator pitch, your business story, your business strategy than your competition does. It may mean you tend more networking <laughs> events than your competition does. It may, may mean you have some reach out campaigns and instead of waiting for someone to call you, you're calling them. Instead of waiting for someone to come to your website, you're actively posting content out there to draw people in. And you're always, always as a business, remember this, remember that you're giving more than you're receiving. Selling business is simple a transaction. You're trading your products or services for their hard-earned money. A successful business always provides more value and more service than they get in exchange for the money. So what that means is, is you're providing more value and service than the customer even expected in the first place. You're coming in at the end and you're delivering everything that you said that you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. And if you do that, you're going to have people that want to tell other people about your business. You're going to have word of mouth and people buy off of the approval of others. So as you're expanding your business out there and you're growing it and you just got the goal and dream and the vision and you're taking that goal and dream and vision and you're putting it into plan and you're making it a reality, realize that just dive in. Go as far as you can see. Stay focused on your target. Stay focused on your plan. Stay focused on the small things that you need to do every day because input, remember this, input always equals output, dot, 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 eventually. It don't happen immediately, but if you keep putting in, you bring the pipeline in, then eventually the pipeline's going to flow, and it's going to keep flowing. And as long as you keep putting in, it's going to keep flowing, and you're going to get, and you're going to achieve the results you desire. So my hope today, I guess, as we wrap it up, would be to tell you that it's possible. You can do it. If I could do it as a 17-year-old, never went to college, coming out of uh, high school, with only just a, a hope, a, a, a goal, and a dream, knowing that I did not want to get in the rat race. I just didn't feel like going. I didn't want to go to four years of college and, and, and school and the education. And so I hopped into a sales career. And I've been through many ups and downs. I've been the time when it was broke and we could hardly afford to get anything. But as I've learned these disciplines, I can tell you this. If you will tune in to us, you will stay plugged into the things that we're going to share you over the next weeks and the next months that we're going to share with you on building your business, building your dream life, building your success, breaking out of the rat race, living the life of your dreams, anything that you want to be, anything you want to do, anything you want to have. If you can dream it, it can happen, but there is a process. There are patterns that you must follow if you want to achieve those types of results. But if you will do it, 
it's possible. Inside of you is that potential to do it. You can, you can do it. You, I'm just going to say you can do it. You have the potential to do anything that you want in your life, but it starts with a wealthy mindset. Get clear. Get clear about what it is you want. Get 100% focused and get going. Take massive focused action. I'll leave you with this. If you will take action, you will get some results. Those results, whether you feel like they're success or failure, you're failing forward because those results, if you learn from them, are success. That success will give you the confidence to take more action and that cycle continues and you'll do it. Be, do, and have anything that you want in your life. Thank you for listening today, and we'll see you next time on the Break Free Podcast. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this episode or found any value in it, be sure to hit the like button. We're streaming on all platforms out there. Thanks for listening.